here we are at the beautiful Kihana Beach. It was created by a lava flow in 1955, but really close to the lava flow of 2018 where the newest beaches in the world were created. As we're making our way down the trail, Sam would stop me looking and reading the waters and he would identify where he expected the bait ball to be according to coloration and formation. Dolphins also frequent this beach often looking for the same bait balls that we were looking for. As we get in the water, we head straight over to where they were. It was crazy how accurate Sam was. Yeah, this place is awesome. <laughs> Oh, really? He swam right up to me. You get a golf for me? No. <laughs> but they're fucking right here, Doc. The cool. ball is right here. Check it out, dude. If you see them, don't take the shot. Okay. I got lucky on that one. <laughs> that was the power of that single bat roller. That's awesome. It's cool too, that's smack. Dude, ahi when they're that big are so scary looking. Really? Yeah. Oh, thanks for taking me out, man. Sure, man. And thanks for letting me shoot that gun. That thing's badass. These are good eats, though, yeah? Yeah. They're actually really good eats, dude. Just fry them? Play them? Fry them. Hey, what's up guys? Just got back from an awesome day of spearing over in Kalapan. It's over on the Puna side. It's where the volcano flow was last year and the year before. So there are thousands of acres of new beach. It's the newest beach in the world. So it was really cool to go over there and see it. It's really pretty, but the water wasn't super clear today. I couldn't see the bottom. And with the turbulence, I got sick to my stomach, called in an early day, but not before we ran into a couple of bait balls of these akule, which is a big ball of fish that are swimming around in there being picked off by the predatory fish like the ahi. The ahi was way too big for me to take. The guy that I was with could have taken one but he didn't have a float so we probably would have taken his gun out so we passed on the ahi, ahi but i was able to use his roller gun plug me one of these uh akule i'm gonna clean it tonight put it on ice and eat it in the morning gonna fillet him or butterfly him actually fry him up with some a little bit of flour and then i'm going to make a watercress show you butter never tried it before so i'm pretty excited to try it bought some watercress on the way back from one of the locals on the side of the road i'm super excited for breakfast in the morning thank you guys for watching Hopefully you enjoy this as much as I do. What is up guys, here for a late breakfast. Had to chase some goats around, so I got started a little bit later. But I'm gonna cook up this uh, akule. What I've done with the akule, I scaled him first, and then I butterflied him. So basically what you do on a butterfly is you cut on the outside of the ribs, and all the way down the backbone to the tail, and then you pull out the ribs and the backbone, so you're left with the filet like this. So it's really good for frying. You can also stuff it, and so if you were, wanted to put whatever uh, vegetables or onions or butters or whatever in there, you can also stuff that fish, and it's perfect for stuffing. In these mackerel, the ukule is a part of the mackerel family, these little pin bones are no big deal. They soften up when you're cooking them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna hurry and dust it real quick with some flour. But first, before that, and uh, funny enough, I 
forgot my salt. So luckily I had some of these little salt packets in the car. Little tidbit about my family, the Buck family, we always have salt in our car. I uh, was flying out of the airport one day and accidentally um, didn't have a ride to pick me up. And so I called my friend Spencer, he didn't answer. He lived close to the airport. So I just dumped my car outside of his house and he didn't know whose car it was. And uh, he looked in the window, saw these uh, salt packets that were sitting in the, in the cup holders, immediately knew it was my car and didn't sweat it because uh, we're known for always having these salt packets around. So salt and pepper, both sides of, of the guy. And then just a quick dusting in some flour. I prefer to cook with butter, but I don't use real butter any longer because I try to avoid animal products if I didn't harvest them. And so uh, this is just some smart balance. Let it melt while I dust this guy. So in the meantime, while that's getting ready, put just a little bit more butter in there. Perfect. Now I'm gonna start frying this guy now. So what I'm actually going to do so you start skin side down first rather than the other way around. So what I'm actually going to make is a shoyu butter as well to cook with him. So what this shoyu butter has, and I, I picked some watercress up off the side of the road yesterday up from some locals that were selling it. Stopped and grabbed some watercress. Never tried this before. So we're gonna experiment today and see how it is. Um, I'm going to try, this is soy sauce. So about a half cup of soy sauce or shoyu. And then quite a bit of butter. It's about a cup of butter. So you guys didn't have to suffer through watching me dice up the onions as green onion and then water crust. About a third of a cup to a half of a cup of each. Slap that in there. Tuck those away so I don't litter out here. Put a little bit more butter in with my fish. So well, that's cooking. Hopefully you guys get to see some of those bait balls. It was pretty murky water, which is why I got sick because I couldn't see the bottom. So that constant going up and down a lot like a roller coaster, your mind think you should, thinks you should be sitting still or you should be going the other direction and you're moving the opposite direction that your brain thinks. And so came on pretty strong. All of a sudden I just felt really sick and uh, game was over. So I finally just says, hey, I've got to get something to go home and cook. And so my friend said, hey, try out my roller gun. If you never shot a pipe roller gun, amazing gun. So I lined up on this, pulled the trigger, got him on the tail. It wasn't a great shot. I was a little bit behind, never shot his gun before, but at least I still harvested him, brought him up, um, dispatched him quickly so he didn't suffer. And now I'm bringing him home to cook up. So I've already cooked the rice. I, I brought rice down. Now, if you guys want a little trick, here's a little trick. Pet beds make awesome to keep your rice warm for hours. So it cooks five or six minutes on each side and then we're gonna flip it over. In the meantime, grab me a cup of this rice. Get to keep the same energy, I've got some watercress that I cooked in there with the rice as well, just some of the watercress leaves. I love watercress, just the, the pretty refreshing kind of crisp nature of it, really like it. So, and I like to enjoy it. I'm a huge fan of sparkling water, so I've got me, myself some Voss water in the cooler to enjoy it with. So a little bit about why I'm cooking it. Uh, now, I love fish, some of the fresh fish. Love it for breakfast with rice. When I went over speaking for a seminar company one time over to Japan, every morning when we woke up, they had the buffet, and in the buffet was fish and rice. First day, I thought, what is going on here? This is kind of crazy. Tried it. Kind of enjoyed it as as the time there went on i enjoyed it more and more and more and more until now i just absolutely love fish and rice for for breakfast in the morning um, one of my favorite meals it's a little bit later in the day today but love it in the morning so this shoyu butter that i'm making is actually a knockoff of a japanese recipe the japanese use watercress and mayo along with the soy sauce to show you to make this shoyu butter instead i'm using real butter to make it or vegan butter to make it, but uh, I really like it this way. Looks like it's about ready to turn. Throw just a little bit more butter in there. Let that show you butter cook for, it, it soft boils and then you get a lot of the flavor out of those onions and the watercress into the rest of the sauce. And then towards the end as it's finishing, I take a couple of scoops, put it on the fish as it's cooking, then the rest of it goes right on my plate. I also like it with the rice, so it's the perfect blend for both of these things. I love glass bottles. Don't know what it is. 
I don't think the water tastes any different. I think it's the bottle that I fall in love with. Give it another turn. And then to finish it, I just put a little lime on, a little bit of salt, a little, little butter, and then the shoyu butter. And to me, it's phenomenal. With the water crisp, that little bit of crisp, it's, it's kind of like a, I, I like it with lime as well. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime over my rice as well. Can't hurt to put a little bit in the water. So let me show you what's going on over here. Got the show you butter boiling. Got the fish there cooking. It's about ready to be done. Now bring over the show you butter. Give it a good stir. Show you butter on both the rice and the fish. Give it a little bit of lime on there and now let's take a look so we got going on i'm gonna try it out and uh see how i like it first i'm gonna get a picture for the gram and there we have it guys butterfly to kool-aid with uh uh show you watercress butter and uh and rice Hey, and if you guys want, I don't know if you've seen them or not yet, it's also the logo. I've got a sticker that I'm giving away for anybody that wants one. So down in the comments, just say, give me a sticker. I'd like a sticker. Hey, could you send me one of those? We'll send you a link that you can give me your information and I'll send you out a sticker just for asking for one. They're pretty cool stickers. It's a Shaka sign because this is my Shaka therapy. And guys, if you like the content, please go down and show me some love. Like, comment, share, give me a thumbs up, whatever you can do to just show me some love. Give me some comments out there. And as always, guys, I super enjoy making these videos and I really appreciate you being here. So thank you so much for being here and enjoying this content. I'm gonna enjoy the fish. As always, I'm Josh Buck, and this is my highlight.